Deprecation. Isolation, loneliness, depression, inertia. It takes a lot of energy to hold all this up. And life isn't always that compassionate. So you're going to get banged and bruised and things are not always going to go well and it's going to sink you into a depression. So there's a reliance on achievement in the behaviors. A perfectionism. The thing about perfectionism, and I don't know if you've experienced this in your life, when you are so afraid of failing, then you procrastinate because you can't face the possibility. So things tend to not get done so that you don't have to face your limitations. So perfectionism is a defense, it's a protection against that humiliation. There's a grandiosity and an omnipotence, pride and a bit of entitlement, self-involvement and a lack of empathy for others. The people at least that come into therapy, I hear this, their self-esteem is so fragile and when things don't go well, they really beat themselves up. They're worthless. Um, if they're so vulnerable to humiliation and shame, why do they do that to their children? It's very unconscious. It's all unconscious. Mm -hmm. Because their children are just an extension of them. Right. And if you do something wrong, then it reflects on me and I can't have that. Yeah. That's the thing with all of these character structures. Until you start really understanding who you are, the way you behave in the world is unconscious. And it's all protective. All of the character structure, all of the way that we are in our body and in the way we believe and the way we behave in the world is all self-protection, self-preservation. 